Hi, I'm Michelle. I have a 2013 Town and Country that I've come did a no build build in, and I have it set up uh, in case my husband comes along with me. Yeah. So I have a, a larger bed. Um, I use this right here for my clothes. So it's got four compartments that pull out and I can put, separate all of my clothes that I need. All of my electronics. You could get it. Did this, this is part of that? It is. It's, it all came together? It, it unzips and then it has these four containers. And, and that all came together. I had never did. seen that before. It did. Yep. Interesting. I, I it's think a it's, good use of space there. Yeah, I, I think its purpose is like a kitchen. Mm -hmm. So you can put plates and pots and pans and food because the um, these are kind of, what do you say, insulated? Yeah. Well, sort of. Yeah. It would keep food for a while, hot or cold. So, and that's all Ozark Trail. It all came together. Ozark Trail. Yep. Very nice. And, and it's very, very, that. very lightweight. There is a pocket in the back of it. I can turn it around. There's a little pocket here. Oh, um, nice. That would be like for utensils or something? I guess you could use it for that. Now, it, it comes with a carry bag because it, it breaks down and you can mm -hmm. put it in a carry bag. But yeah. if you did want to break it down. Oh, and it, okay, here's another thing. It does have legs. For outside. So if you wanted to raise it up. Right. You could put the legs underneath under it and have a little bit more space underneath there as well. So it's a nice size for what you're it's, using it's it for. Yeah, it's perfect. Also, what I did was I bought these... These are like what you put in a bathtub. Yeah. And and then, so that way it's not a slick surface. Right. Um, so my stuff doesn't go sliding around when I'm driving. Right. And it's not going to come up and hit you because it's behind the chair. It's got to get a baby, That's Lulu. baby face. Hi, Lulu. <laughs> Say hey, Lulu. Hey. She's a good travel buddy. Yeah, That's she's so quiet. Yep. She's very quiet. Oh, that's her bed That's over there. Bed. So I have had the situation where it was raining when I was camping mm -hmm. and I just kind of hang out in here. So just kind of sit in here, watch movies if it's raining or inclement weather. Um, I have a um, Kindle Fire that I download movies on every time I go on a trip. Um, that's my entertainment. But this, um, this bed folds out and it uses up pretty much this whole floor space. And I really, this is plenty. So, That's a lot of floor space there for a minivan. Right, right. When it's folded up, yeah. Right. But this folds all the way out. Folds um, out flat. Folds out flat. Into on. the size of like a double bed? It's 45 inches. Okay. Wide, which is exactly That's from right. here to here. Is and how long inches. is it just the other way? If I had to guess, I would say it's probably about... 70 inches pretty colors yeah and you know it, uh, living in he, the the dirt just kind of wipes off of this oh nice so it's yeah it's a uh, hard to describe fabric right right um, it doesn't have a lot of nap to it to catch right, the dirt right it's so very it's, smooth it's pretty clean yeah i have the seats out behind this mm -hmm. and but the seats are still in in the middle so they're section. stow and go in the middle correct and I've built up the floor using puzzle mats. Oh, that's foam nice. puzzle maps. Right, because there probably were gears under there, kind of that, hardware. Well, and also the floor was not the level. End. Yeah. So I have like three layers and then two layers <laughs> and then one layer. Right. And it's it's been fine. And it's fine for my knees. I see you've got the screens on there. Did you make those or someone help you make those? Oh, or I how, did that. how'd you get those? Yeah, I got them at, got it that I had to order it from Home Depot. Mm -hmm. They were like, I don't even know, ten dollars or something. Um, and just cut it and it's got a channel so it fits in there perfectly. Yeah. Did you have to add screen to it or did that I come? did not. Oh it already has screen? Did. I didn't realize yeah. that. I now these are Eno the you know like the hammocks E N O E N O lights. Um, but the only thing I don't like about it is not rechargeable. It requires I think AAA batteries, uh -huh. but they last forever. Yeah, so that doesn't take any light. They're bright, and then you can make them a little dimmer. And if you're in a disco kind of a mood, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and and I just oh here's another really good tip. These little clips, these are like those command hook clips. Mm -hmm. um, 
so uh -huh. that's how I have them hanging. So you just that's a good tip. Put that in there like that, and there you go. Very nice. So I have them here, here, here. But we even use this at home. Uh, we just put drinks in it yeah. on our porch, oh, <laughs> so nice. we use it all the time. That's a good size refrigerator, Alpacool. Yeah, it's perfect. And this one, um, you can do a freezer. I think um, this part would freeze and then this stays as a, as a refrigerator. Looks good. Yeah. That's great. It has a light inside. This is my trash bag. Okay. And it hangs on the... It's just hanging off of my seatbelt. Okay. Yep. And then I have my little um, fruit. vegetable fruit hammock. That's nice. I need to get thing. one of those too. Yeah, that's nice. And it's just zip tied onto my seatbelts yeah. down there. Blackout curtain deal. Sometimes, you know, I have the I have the um, the window inserts from WeatherTech. Uh -huh. The really nice ones. Sometimes it's just too dark for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. So sometimes I will leave the front out. I'll put them all in the back and then just use my blackout curtain right. for privacy. Sometimes I like to have a little bit of light coming in at night. So I have that option. These blackout curtains are nice and thick. Those are from Amazon. Uh-huh. And you have the, I don't even know what that's. It's a bungee. Is it, it is a it's bungee? It's a bungee strap. Yeah, and so. The flat bungee strap yeah, with hooks on the end. it's right there. Well, the space you have here is just amazing. I know. I know. You know? You know if you are stuck in here, it's not a bad place to, you know, yeah. kind of hang out. Absolutely Where does your little perfect. baby, where does Lulu ride when you're on Oh, she on has the road? a car seat. Oh, she's got a little tiny. Yeah. And that's strapped down, and then you've it got is. a harness for her. That's Correct. really nice. I have these little levelers. You can buy these on Amazon. Uh-huh. Um, I'm not sure how accurate they are, because when I put them on, I, w I didn't make sure everything was perfectly level. Okay. So I might have to redo these, but it's a really good idea, because sometimes yeah. you think you're level, and when you get in and lay you down at night, be. you might find out that you're not. So I've got one here, and then... Oh, right here. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So you've got it every direction there. That's right. really good. Right. So, you know, of course, here's my little weather tech. They, they, they hang out here. The only frustrating thing about this setup is I have to move this out of the way. Well, that was pretty darn easy. Not a big deal. Exactly. Yeah. Not a big deal. So, you know, this is my little hot logic mm -hmm. uh, cooker. I made my supper on this last night. It worked fantastically. Yeah, I like hot logic. I do have some, um, a little bit of solar with this one right here There's I've really never seen that brand before oh okay yeah I've tested it out I haven't used it on a trip yet but I have tested it in the yard and it looks great yeah I think I think Bob Wells did a he probably did yeah he did one on this but it's I, I believe it's a hundred going to the bathhouse not a big deal it's getting dressed in the bathhouse that I always hate it's it's a struggle right you, mm -hmm. you, you're half wet you're trying to get yes. your clothes on the floor's wet you can't it's just very frustrating so I use this poncho and you, they, they sell them for people that go surfing and you can actually sometimes I'll just wear it to the bathhouse yeah um, or I'll just put it on and come back up here and get changed. so it's full coverage oh yeah that's nice oh, yeah. and it's kind of like a microfiber material. Yeah, so it's even absorbent. They yeah. make towels out of that, I right, think. Right, right. Um, because it's so big, you can get changed under inside of it. Right. Like if you're at the beach and you don't have a place four-sided, so it, each side is six feet. Okay. Six by six by six. So it's good for one or two people. Mm-hmm. And you, do you have this for all four sides? I this, do. The shade? I do, yeah. So. But a lot of times I just Put one on and move it around as the sun right. moves around. That makes it easy. And how? What do you think about putting it up by yourself? Very, very easy. One person. Yes. Very, very easy. That's nice. Yeah, you know, the sides just pop out. Pop in and pop out. Hike crew. Yep. Okay. Nice to know. Yeah. It looks like it's lighter weight than the the clamp. The bigger the, ones. The bigger ones. Yeah. Yeah. It probably would take up less room too. Well, I would say the the other downside to this, um, the the bag that it comes in is very long, mm -hmm. so it does not go in my uh, box on top of my car. Yeah. If you had a longer box, it might. Yeah. But mine, it doesn't. So, so I, just, I just put it in the back of the van. That is a uh, sport rack. 
is Sport okay. Rack. Sport is Rack. I highly recommend if you don't have a <laughs> rooftop box, you know, because if you're packing up and your stuff is dirty or wet, yeah. it just goes up in there and that, that thing holds a lot of stuff. Yeah. And, and it's, it's probably why I'm able to have all that space in there. As much space as you have. Yep. And also the thing I like about this, it's got four ways to close it. So it's got two, two little clasps on either end and it's got two locks. So it's not going to open. Never had any problems. I got an extra chair. This is a um, collapsible trash can. Uh huh. That we, I realized I have a trash can <laughs> right <laughs> over there, so I did not need it. Um, I have leveling blocks up here, which is also a good thing to have. Yes, I don't have them, but they're a good thing to yeah, have. Yeah, because not every place you go to is going to be perfectly level. So those are in here. I do have a table up here. Um, and then I just have sort of a. So, you know, these are great. These milk crates. Milk crate. Yeah, plastic. In. Um, and this is like a laundry line for drying clothes. I've uh -huh. got bungee straps. I have these suction cups um, in case I want to hang something off of the van. I think, personally, I haven't used them yet, but I think they're probably better for your paint job than the than magnets. A magnet scratching it. Yeah, exactly. And I think this might be a, a hammock ah. in here. Oh, and that's my shovel. Uh -huh. Just in case. Just in case. Yeah, so we have um, we had to use this yeah. <laughs> when we've uh, out west. Yeah. When you're in BLM land and there's no bathroom. Right. But there's plenty of bushes. Yeah. So this is what you do. Yeah, that's a great place to put anything too big, too ugly, or too smelly, exactly, or too wet. <laughs> exactly. And to go this inside. is my toilet. It's one of those kind of collapsible mm -hmm. um, little toilet things. So. so you haven't had to use that here? Not here, no. Be um, okay, so <laughs> I do have this in case, um, you know, we're in that situation. We have a bathhouse at this at this meetup, so uh, that's taken care of yeah. number two anyway. Um, however, I don't like to get out of my van at night. Right. Um, like a lot of us don't. Even if it's not raining, I just don't feel like it. I don't want to get dressed and go to the bathhouse. Right. So what my solution is, it's a little bit risky, but so far, so good. Okay. <laughs> um, and I do it, I, I can do this on my knees, but I also use this when I'm hiking. Um, so, well, I don't use this. This stays in the van. So this is uh, very, very, very cleaned out. So I urinate in this at night using, this is called a pee style. Uh-huh. And uh, it... We are all been talking about this. A lot of people have trouble using these. Yeah, um, because they, it, there's a technique to it. Yeah, you have to practice. That's don't you? right. That's right. Practice in the shower. That's right. Multiple times. Multiple <laughs> times. So you get it right. You got to get it right in the right place. You have to have right the perfect amount of pressure. That's what works, and I've had no problems. Um, yeah, when it. you get good at it, that's really a it's great awesome. solution. Because this fits inside of that spout. Right. You know right. how these have that spout? It fits perfectly in there. Yeah. And I don't, I'm not worried about spilling this or, or anything like that's that. That's great. So that's what I take care of. That's very that's I easy. I take care of my nighttime. <laughs> we have a really great it. setup here. Yeah, yeah I've, I've enjoyed it. And my husband calls it the hippie man. He feels like it <laughs> kind of has that vibe going on. If my husband's coming, most we have a truck camper, mm -hmm. so most of the time we'll use that for for the very 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 long trips. So we're going out west this year, and the we went out west last year, and the um, diesel was astronomical, so it was very yeah. expensive. Yeah. Um, so I'm kind of trying to convince him to come. Let's go in this. Um, what kind so of mileage you get? When I was coming down, I was tracking it was averaging 22.4 that's not bad no really i mean compared good. to a lot of other things yeah exactly and how far did you come to come to the meetup uh five and a half hour drive from columbia south carolina oh okay well, those, um kind of a new thing for me um i've done lots of different types of camping um my husband and i we had a uh, we still have a fifth wheel but we right now are housing birds in it while i'm working at home because <laughs> so, they're loud um, but we have a, a truck camper, so we've been using that the past couple of years, traveling around. And we, we you know, it's, it's like the evolution of camping. You, st you start out uh, with a tent, 
and then maybe you go to a really small camper and then it, everything gets bigger and then it starts getting smaller and more simplistic yes uh, again as you mature <laughs> that's right you realize you don't need all of that stuff mm -hmm. anymore we went out west um on a subaru outback uh to colorado in a rooftop tent mm. he and i and that's when i got my gazebo uh -huh. because we needed sort of an outdoor space yeah um and when we came back we saw truck campers were like that's there were a lot of them out there so we started looking at those and we really didn't even care and we're coming from a fifth wheel we didn't even care if it had a bathroom. We realized we didn't even need a bathroom, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, because we were able to manage and take care of things um, with, you know, just a rooftop tent. But I've hammock camped, tent camped. I've done all that as well. Um, but this, this by far, but for when I'm solo, especially, I feel safe mm -hmm. in my vehicle. Um, my husband, you know, he, he doesn't worry quite as much. He knows I can get in here and, and lock things up and, and be safe. Mm -hmm. And this year, we, we're, our plan is to go to Glacier and Yellowstone. Every year I want to have some kind of big trip. Um, Acadia, that's on the list. Mm -hmm. Big Bend is on the list. Um, you know, but I work. I, I'm lucky enough that my uh, employer allows me to take off three weeks at a time. It is my first meetup. I've been wanting to come to them. They've been a, just a little bit too far for me, so this was great, um, and I've really enjoyed myself. Um, a lot of camaraderie. Everybody got along, and um, just lots of fun. Bunch of wild women last night around the campfire. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> well, I appreciate the van tour. Well, thank thanks you. a lot for letting us uh, take a tour. And I appreciate you, Jan, and, and these meetups. This is amazing. Oh, this is great. That's good to hear. You know, <laughs> it's and, good to hear. You know, it's, um, it gets women out, mm -hmm. and they feel safe, you know, because they're around other women, mm -hmm. and they're not by themselves.